Well, I thought it'd be nice to do a series on uh, Photoshop retouching. This is the first one and it's on Photoshop Elements 9. It's exactly the same on CS5, but I'm do I'll show you on, on 9. It's just how to brighten eyes. It's a very basic lesson for the beginner, um, so I hope you enjoy it. And this is how I, how I personally do it. So I drag my background layer down into the new layer box and it gives me a background copy. Then by pressing alternate button and then pressing the add layer mask it gives me a black mask. Now the black mask is like having a black piece of paper over it. Now we're going to cut holes in that. Well firstly, sorry, firstly in the drop down menu we're going to put it on screen. That's very important to be able to see what you're doing. So we're going closer to the eyes. Now this is just like having a black piece of paper over it that we can't actually see the black paper, but we'll, I'll show you what I mean in a second. If I take the brush, go a bit closer in on the eyes, that's a little bit... Uh, right. Now if we take a brush and we make the brush more, it's quite a soft brush I've chosen. Um, so we just take it into about that size. Now we're going to start cutting holes, if you like, in the black piece of paper that's over the top of the image. And that's what we're doing here. Now, very simply, we can do that because we're painting white, white paint. Now, if I go too far, it's very, very simple. For example, I make a mistake and I do that. Uh, it's very simple just to change to black paint and we can get rid of the mistake. So this avoids having to make uh, all those selections, etc. This is just a mask that we've got over the picture. Now, as you'll see now, the, the th it's very, very bright. And probably too bright. The eyes are too bright. Yeah, it's much too bright. But if I go to the opacity layer, I can then reduce the opacity or choose the opacity that I want. Now, in this case, just for a bit of fun, I'm going to keep it at maximum and I'm going to show you something else. We go to the background layer, take it again down to do a copy. We press the alternate, we're doing exactly the same thing. And we press the layer mask button. We mustn't forget to go to screen. We choose a paintbrush again. And we choose a bigger paintbrush this time. And what happens now? If I go to white paint, I've got to be on white paint to do this. Uh, what happens now if I press there and press there? I create a band of lights. Now it doesn't look like the, the eyes are too bright, does it? But the great thing is, of course, with the opacity slider, I can diminue or increase the amount of either the eyes or the band of light and I, this is a wonderful non-destructive way of retouching and that's what's good about it it's totally non-destructive well I hope that's helped and if you like this uh, this video on uh, retouching I'll do some more post-production uh, lessons right see you soon cheers